tonight at Max Bar in East Lansing. I played Lansing a couple other times. I opened up for Jack's Mannequin at Orson Hall at MSU. It was really, really fun. And then I played another time where it was during the Final Four and it was like the worst possible day for a show. But tonight's a little better because there's no basketball. I'm just excited to be back here and uh, yeah, happy to be back in Michigan. I just released my new record, Connect the Dots. It came out August 10th. It was really awesome release. I had an iTunes feature in Song of the Week and it was incredible. The response was really overwhelming. I had over 400,000 downloads. And actually for three days, I was in the top 10 pop charts, which was amazing. I was actually right above Lady Gaga and Katy Perry one day under Justin Bieber at number seven for album sales. And then the other two days I hung on um, number nine and ten so that was really exciting to have that and just know that you know if people hear your music you have a shot you don't have to be manufactured or you know put in a box and you could still make good music and people will like it so because of that now my music is on some hot AC radio stations in Pittsburgh Palm Springs California Texas Dubai and Egypt and Santa Rosa, California, a bunch of different stations, Hudson Valley, New York, and hopefully soon Lansing. But check out my single, White Lies. You can go on my MySpace, which is Stacy Clark, S-T-A-C-Y-C-L-A-R-K, or Google me, add me on Twitter, I have webisodes and all that fun stuff. So I moved out to California six years ago to pursue my dream of music, and it was a hard struggle. I moved out on my credit card, which I don't recommend. I had to work a lot of jobs that I hated to pay it off, and then brings me to today. I have a deal with Vanguard Records. They also have Indigo Girls, the Watson Twins, um, a lot of really awesome artists, Granny winning artists, and I'm just so excited to be on a label that gets me and understands me, and it's been such a long journey, but I'm from Buffalo, New York originally, so it kind of shows even from Lansing, like you can do anything you want if you're willing to work hard for it and make sacrifices. You're telling me. Maybe I could see it before you I've never met any other artist on my label. I met Greg Loudwell, and he's like a hotel cafe artist and really, really talented. I met him before I was actually signed on the label, so that was cool, but everyone else, uh, I'm excited to meet them. Um, you don't always meet the other artists. It's more like you working directly with the label. So, so far it's been awesome and I'm really excited about the launch and there's a lot of cool things coming up. Like I'm gonna be on LA Inc. in the fall and I got my CD artwork like tattooed on my back and so a lot of like really cool little things like that and tours coming up and stuff, so. Um, actually what happened is it was like a relationship that my managers had and then they were interested in me and it's kind of like dating. You like court each other, See how feel each other out, see if they're gonna understand you, and then now I have a deal, so I need get out of this town. It was amazing. I mean, to start, I've been playing guitar for a long time, since 1995. And I started playing coffee shops, like I had to sneak into bars, I was underage to play open mics and things like that. So Moving forward to now, it's incredible to open for 15,000 people is a dream come true and especially in one of the venues I grew up going to see Sarah McLachlan, Tori Amos at, it was just like amazing and we opened up for America and they're a great rock band and they were so cool and it was just like the best experience really. I want to play every show like that so it gives you something to reach for, you know. Growing up, I listened to everything from Cheryl Crow to Tori Amos, Sarah McLaughlin, and I also was in a lot of punk rock, like MXPX, Operation Ivy, Face to Face. I did like skateboarding and snowboarding, played soccer, so I liked a lot of music that was like, you know, more like that hardcore, which Buffalo has a big hardcore scene with like Snapcase and different bands, so I know it's weird, but I liked a lot of that, and now I like everything from hip hop to top 40, I like dancing, you know, but everything from like, classic rock, Led Zeppelin, Fleetwood Mac to certain like Jay-Z, you know, it just depends like what song and but yeah. Do you think I'm a fool? She only works on me twice for trust. It's funny because like I listen to like everything and when I write it's just kind of like poetry and then I put it to music and then I decide you know what's best for the song like do I want to do more electronic pop or do I want to do more organic like this record Connect the Docs is more organic so more like folky with some pop indie rock elements where Apples and Oranges is a little more like Postal Service Image and Heat but you know that was six years ago so I just think you know you always got to do what's best for the song and whether it's electronic or 
you know, however you want to produce your music, it's just whatever fits that song. I'm doing a solo tour right now, but I do have a full band. We won Best Pop Band in Orange County, and we play there a lot. So anytime we do like fly dates and stuff, I'll be with them, and I love playing with them. But unfortunately, with the economy, I can't always afford to bring them all the time. I mean, with a full band, it's like you have your band behind you and with you, and you just feel like all the different sounds like when you're singing you know like when the drum's gonna kick in it's a little more exciting when i play acoustic it's more intimate i feel like i'm wearing my heart on my sleeve more because it's just me and my guitar there's not much between the audience and i or with the band it's like you're a little more you know part of a group rather than on your own so i like both experiences if i could tour with my band all the time right now i would because i love them and i love the sound we create but. As I just moved to California, it was really exciting. I was going out a lot, dancing. Um, I was really into postal service, more electronic production, and then I wanted to make more of like a pop happy record. The producer I worked with, that was his like thing, and he was really good at it, and so we did that record together. And then this record, six years later, it's more about the songs are about struggle, the difference of living in Buffalo, living in um, LA, Orange County, and seeing like all these things and the struggles, the successes, all the ups and downs of life. And so that's pretty much, you know, it's pretty raw, honest lyrics. So I wanted to strip it back and be more real. <laughs>